In just one province alone, the eastern province of Zhejiang, according to official state media, more than four million people have been affected by Typhoon Fito. In the coastal city of Wenzhou, wind speeds above 150 kilometers an hour brought down 1,700 homes and destroyed 46,000 acres of farmland. This farmer says he suffered huge losses after his barns, containing 30,000 chickens, were blown over. They're all dead, he says, after being hit by the torrential rain. Further inland, the flooding caused by that rain is the main problem, and more rain is still expected. The army has been drafted in to help people trapped in their homes make it to safety. These passengers had to be rescued from their stranded bus. Across the wider region, travel and economic activity have both been badly affected. Tens of thousands of boats have been called back into port, bullet train services suspended and many flights delayed or cancelled. Fito has served as a reminder, if any were needed, of the danger that typhoons can pose even towards the end of China's peak typhoon season and just two weeks after Typhoon Usagi left at least 25 dead in the south of the country. John Sudworth, BBC News, Shanghai.